What's up everyone, Gabriel here. In today's video I'm going to show you how to root the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini, the i9195 uh, LTE international variant of the device. And before we proceed, there are a few prerequisites uh, needed in order to root the device and uh, have the ability to install custom RAMs, custom uh, recoveries, I don't know if you want to install uh, the exposed framework and uh, modules and so on. So before we proceed with the routing, you need to head on to xdadevelopers.com to download all the things that you need. On the Galaxy S4 Mini thread, go to Android Development and uh, here you'll find uh, all the tools needed uh, in order for you to start routing your device. You also have a detailed step-by-step uh, -step, uh, guide on uh, how to, to root it. Download from here the necessary zip folder that you need to download. This uh, folder contains the recovery. It also contains Odin and uh, the S4 Mini root kit zip which uh, we need to root the device. When you've downloaded this, go uh, to your PC and uh, extract it in a folder on uh, your desktop. I already have it uh, right here. This is how it looks. Transfer to your uh, device uh, this file here, GTI9195 rootkit v2. Transfer it to your... Uh, device as you will need it later to flash it in recovery in order to gain root access. When you're through with this, uh, also download the uh, Samsung keys in order to have all the latest drivers installed on your PC. And make sure that you don't have your uh, micro SD card inserted in uh, your device. I've already taken mine out, so uh, beware of this. Take out the micro SD card. Okay, let's proceed. Add on to the folder you just created on your desktop. Go ahead and open Odin. Make sure you run Odin as uh, an administrator. When all of this is done, Pick up your device and uh, put the device in download mode. You can do this uh, very simple. Make sure you press volume down, home key and the uh, power button at the same time. Because I gave a restart, uh, I don't need to push the power button. This will pop up on your uh, device screen. Now connect your USB cable and press volume up in order to continue. My device is already rooted. I've only already rooted it. As you can see, it will show up that uh, it was added. Now, very important, make sure you uncheck F reset time. Then go ahead and uh, check PDA. Press on PDA. Choose Recovery Clockwork uh, 6.0.3.7 Open and uh, press Start uh, in order uh, to install the recovery. When uh, the flash is done, your device will uh, vibrate. You need to immediately press Volume, uh, volume Up button, Home key and Power On in order to get into recovery mode. So let's proceed. You already see on my uh, device. It says, it says here recovery boot up. And you can already see that I have uh, clockwork mode uh, recovery installed. Now, go ahead. In order to navigate, 
you need to use the volume up volume down uh, buttons and uh, in order to choose something to make a selection you will use uh, the home key so let's go to install zip choose zip from sd card And as you can see right here, I don't know if it shows on the camera correct. The folder that you transferred uh, before you began uh, routing your device and installing the um, recovery is present here. GTI9195 rootkit v2 zip. Make the selection. Choose yes, install. And after everything it's uh, ready, go back and uh, choose a Reboot System Now. Now your device has uh, recovery installed and also root access. Therefore you can uh, proceed installing whatever you want. Mine was already rooted as I said and uh, I've already started installing uh, exposed uh, framework and uh, other goodies for uh, this device. Most probably I will uh, install a custom ROM today just to see how it performs. As you see it says Android is upgrading, finishing boot. And there you have it. Let's go into the app drawer. You can see super user is installed. As I said, my device was uh, was already rooted. Okay, this is a very simple way to root your device and uh, install custom recovery on it. I hope you like the video. I hope uh, you found it uh, informative, useful. As I said, you need to download the Samsung keys in order to have all the, all the latest uh, drivers installed. You need to download uh, the folder from uh, xdadevelopers.com in order to have uh, the recovery file. Also the, rule, uh, the root kit uh, for the Samsung uh, S4 mini and also Odin. When you've downloaded everything and installed on your PC, everything is very easy. You've seen it, it uh, takes about uh, four or five minutes in order to root your device and install a um, custom recovery. And uh, from then, from that point, uh, you can start uh, installing uh, custom ROMs and uh, whatever you want. If you have any comments, use the comment section, also share this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for future uh, content, because uh, more videos will follow in the coming days. Also follow me on uh, my official Facebook page on Google+, and uh, as always my friends, be safe, be good, your friend Gabriel signing out, peace.